Hey, welcome. My name is Martin. I'm the creator of Super Mega Space Game. Here is Game Dev Garage. I'm making Cocos Creator tutorials in this channel. Uh, so if you want to see more tutorials, uh, take a look to the links in the description and in the corner. Um, so in this uh, video, we are going to take a look to use shaders, custom shaders to make some effects. And I will save your maybe five or ten hours in next several minutes because there is some tricky part in Cocos uh, Creator uh, when you are working with uh, custom shaders. So let's start here. So uh, I have a just a simple image texture here. This is just a simple sprite frame. Let me show you what it looks like. This is just a normal image and I'm using this image as a sprite here. So how we make uh, custom materials and custom shaders. So first I will create a material here and demo material. Okay. Um, <clears throat> sorry okay now uh, we should check the list here effect lists as you can see we have several uh, shaders uh, here so we are gonna add a custom shader to this list that's easy we can just create an effect here demo shader Okay, now we are going to go to our material and choose demo shader here. Apply and it's okay. Now it uses our uh, custom shader here. So uh, let's apply this material to our sprite. We have a material option here. So I'm going to drag and drop demo material here to apply on sprite. <coughs> As uh, shader and material uh, both are default nothing is changed now let's customize the shader i uh, have prepared a custom shader uh, before so i will just copy and paste here because i don't uh, have much experiences on shaders but uh, as i say uh, we have some properties here uh, this is a, a simple wipe effect so it has a start angle and wipe angle and some other uh, properties here uh, which i will uh, talk uh, about later and um, in the fragment shader i have a function to calculate uh, the angle of the vector and uh, i test angle of vector with a number to calculate it's visible or not the pixel I mean so let's save it and go to our project okay let's take a look to our material and it uh, changed its options uh, start angle and wipe uh, options are visible now so let's just wipe as you can see it's affecting the sprite here this is a regular wipe so maybe you can use in your projects and the thing is uh, let's save this apply this uh, material and save it and run in simulator as you can see it doesn't work surprise let's check the browser it also doesn't work here so <clears throat> what's the problem uh, the problem is uh, Cocos has a dynamic atlas manager in the uh, latest version 2.3.3 so dynamic atlas uh, changes all UV uh, calculations in uh, shaders actually it uh, makes a atlas with uh, use, used uh, sprites and uh, the all UV values will be changed <clears throat> we have an option to prevent this we can add a node here actually we have several options but i have a really much better option in this video so 
watch it into the end um, we can call it um, main game control it's it's not important I just make a script here to disable dynamic atlas and GC okay I will drag and drop our script here maybe we can rename it shader control huh control okay <clears throat> And change its name to shader control it's much better for naming okay now let's edit this uh, script I will just clear everything and in the onload function we're gonna add this line dynamic atlas manager that enabled equals false save this Go to the project and run in simulator. Ah, sorry, it's uh, already at the zero position, so we should adjust it to see if it's work. It works or not. So let's run the game. Yeah, now it's working. Perfect. So let's go to the browser. It's okay. So the problem is we disabled the dynamic atlas manager if you want to use dynamic atlas manager in your game to uh, decrease draw calls and improve performance this is not a really good option uh, so we have another option for you uh, we are gonna um, mark this uh, sprite frame as uh, unpackable so dynamic atlas manager will not pack this sprite so let's edit this no, uh, script here um, I will get um, actually we need to link to our sprite just define a property uh, my sprite or just sprites easier CC sprite okay let's um, my sprite frame sprite frame equals this dot sprite dot sprite frame this will get the sprite frame of the sprite then we will set this texture uh, sp sprite frame dot uh, dot underscore texture dot packable equals false yeah let's check this out in the game um, we need to link the sprite here save it and run it as you can see it works it works uh, while we uh, the sprite uh, dynamic sprite uh, atlas enabled so we will have another problem when we use uh, atlas uh, sprites here for example here is a uh, uh, remember uh, that was just a single image but if we use um, a texture atlas maybe like this it won't work it won't even work in our uh, editor test the simulator yeah it's not working here because the UV coordinates are already different since this is not a single image let's find the image this is the atlas and we are using atlas uh, this part in the atlas image so maybe to better understand we can change the 
image and the result will be totally different yeah let's see what happens when we edit the material when we edit the material as you can see the origin point is uh, offset top right maybe we can try another one maybe this one so that will result another let me ap apply it when we change the values you can see totally different behavior okay so I have a much better solution for this situation so we are gonna change our shader control to this one I will copy and paste the uh, values directly yeah uh, this is uh, my shader uh, controller uh, that has an option to uh, set the uh, UV value offsets uh, based on sprite frames uh, um, rectangular uh, sizes in uh, the atlas so let's uh, save this out and go to the editor and for the sake of simplicity we should just apply this uh, controller into the sprite itself so let's restart the editor okay now we can edit the material here apply and edit so here uh, we have a wipe option and it adjusts uh, the wipe value of the material actually it sets the offset values into the material so everything will be fine in this way maybe we can even animate this value let's see here I will add an animation component here and animation clip here maybe we can add a folder and shader anim here so let me drag and drop this to the default clip and enable play on load and edit this animation so we can animate our shader controls wipe value here shader control wipe here it's gonna be zero and here it's gonna be 360 then zero again and make the loop run yeah as you can see it works well by the way let me check it out ignore okay by the way we have uh, let's change it a little different so we also using the atlas right now as you can see while we are using atlas and while, while uh, dynamic atlas manager is also activated we still have correct positions for uvs so here is the end for this tutorial. Uh, hope you find this uh, tutorial valuable and helpful. So don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And if you like to see more tutorials about shaders or uh, other uh, subjects, please leave comments uh, below. And you can download project files in the description. And see you next videos. Bye.